एवरी वन वेलकम टू सक्सेस आई ए एस स्टडी सर्कल वेर ड्रीम मीट्स इट्स गोल लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस अबाउट माई सेल्फ आई एम दीपा फैकल्टी इन नारायण आई एस अकेडमी हैदराबाद शंकर एन आई ए स्टडी सर्कल हैदराबाद एंड सक्सेस आई ए स्टडी सर्कल लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इंडिया आई बुक एंड नेशनल सिम्बल्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर अंडर इंडिया आई बुक ओके दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो एंड द फाइनल वीडियो अबाउट the national symbols the chapter is very important i have mentioned most of the time okay so there are concepts which we have discussed in my last two videos please do cross check that and like you know there are many informations which we have dealt so just make note of it it's very important these four topics have already been covered in the last two videos in this particular video we will be covering about the other national symbols which is very important so let's start with the first uh, national symbol of this video that's national pledge let me read out to you about the national pledge which is very important as a citizen of india everyone should know about it india is my country all indians are my brothers and sisters i love my country and i am proud of its rich and varied heritage i shall strive to be worthy of it i shall respect my parents teachers and all elders and treat everyone with courtesy to my country and all my people i pledge my devotion in their well-being and prosperity alone lies my happiness jai hind it's very important it's commonly recited by indians especially in the schools during independence days during republic days and special other occasions it's printed in the opening page of the school textbooks and calendars and the point is some of the schools not all the schools recites this as the morning assembly prayer okay so the next one is very important point is you will be getting confused whether it is a part of the indian constitution or not it is not part of the indian constitution this was written in telugu for the first time by pidameri venkata subbarao who is known as pv subbarao in the year 1962 now we have in 14 different languages the same pledge indian languages 14 different indian languages unlike the national anthem author and national song author pv subbarao is a little known figure the government decided to make this as the national pledge in the year 1965 january 26th this was adopted very important is 26th january 1965 we have adopted this as our national pledge okay So the next one is national fruit. Tell me who doesn't like mango? Everyone love mango, right? So let's know about the facts of mango, which is considered to be as the national fruit. Scientific name is Magnifera indica, adopted in 1950, native of South Asia, and its so the season is late February to late, sorry, early September. Okay. what are all the criterias that consider to do fix a particular fruit or particular thing as the national symbol for example this mango itself okay considerably the presence in the religious and spiritual heritage of the country and mango is known from ages and it's known as the king of fruits national fruit of india it is actually cultivated in the tropical region so it is known as tropical fruits and it's found in the world okay around the world we can find that the national fruit it represents three very important points of the country's image what exactly it is saying about the country as a national fruit it says about the prosperity abundance and richness okay so this is very important the next thing is we find this mango particularly in india bangladesh and myanmar okay so this is about our favorite mango let's talk about national bird which is very beautiful 
No other word can replace that. Beauty is the only word which suits it best. So Indian peacock. The common name for Indian peacock is Indian pupil. Pupil is nothing but a bird. A large crested peasant found mainly in Asia, it is called as peafowl. Crested, crested means what? Crested means what? Crested, it explains about the kind of tough of feathers or fur which is found on the head of that particular bird. Okay, so it is known as Indian peafowl, which is the bird category. Okay. Bird. Scientific name of peacock, Indian peacock is Pavo cristatus. It's adopted in the year of 1963, indigenous to India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Myanmar and Sri Lanka. It can be found in grasslands, forests, near human habitats. Very dangerous, but still it's found. It's omnivorous, which eats flesh and as well as veggies. The male uh, weights 5 kg, female is 3.5 kg and the lifespan of this particular peacock is very less, 15 to 20 years, so please don't kill that, okay? And uh, conservation status, conservation status, it's least concern because the total number of Indian peacock is unknown. It's founded in abundance. So that's the reason why it is least concerned, okay? The next very important national symbol, national animal, it, which is very powerful with his looks and everything. So the common name is Royal Bengal Tiger. The scientific name for Royal Bengal Tiger is Panthera tigris, which was adopted in 1972. I think you all have the idea about the Project Tiger, right? The reason why they started Project Tiger because it was in the list of endangered species, tiger. Okay, so that's the reason why they started. Uh, this is found in India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Myanmar and Sri Lanka. Bangladesh is also considers this as their national animal. It's not only that like, you know, well, we have to have for, for India only. It's not like that. A particular uh, symbol can be considered with many countries national symbol. Okay. So male waves 220 kgs, female is 140 kgs. The average lifespan is 8 to 10 years. Only 8 to 10 years. So save tiger. Okay. So the next important one uh, we have to deal with is uh, the national heritage animal. The national heritage animal is elephant. National heritage animal elephant, the scientific name is Elephas maximus indicus. This was adopted in the year of 2010, October 22nd. This is a very important point which I am explaining. So you have to have clear idea about it which ministry declared okay so that is important let me tell you about the project elephant project elephant is very important point if you don't know that i'll explain you further india's environment ministry declared elephant as the national heritage animal okay declaring this national heritage animal like you know the poachings or whatever it is there that will be reduced so that's the reason why this was considered as the national heritage animal project elephant as i told you before it was launched by the government of india in the year 1992 the objectives were to protect elephants their habitat and corridors to address issues of man animal conflict and welfare of captive animals or elephants especially so these were the things which were considered under national heritage animal the next one is national river Ganga considered to be as the national river of India these days we are seeing about Ganga right let's know the length of Ganga 25 25 that is 2525 kilometer it's easy for you to remember 
as you remember that like as 25 25 2525 kilometers Minister Manmohan Singh, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, in November 4th, 2008, declared Ganga has national river of India. Ganga action plan started in the year of 18, 1985 for the first time. Now you know that it's about the Namami Gange project. And there are so many schemes under this Namami Gange. You should be aware of all those schemes which, because it's very important. This was initially started to clean up the Ganga, uh, focusing upon the municipal sewages. Right now, we have considered this 2,525 kilometers completely as taken as the cleaning project. Okay. So this is about our national river. The next one is national flower, that is lotus. The scientific name before that one in India itself we have Kamal, Padma, Sacred Lotus, different kinds of name for lotus. The scientific name is Nilumba nucifera, which was adopted in the year 1950 and it's found in the southeastern Asian countries cultivated in Australia, Europe, Japan and America. Very important, it's cultivating. They are cultivating that particularly. And uh, lotus, you all know it very well. It is not uh, grown in the flowing water. It is found in only the stationary water, like ponds, lakes, and artificial ponds. Okay, national tree. Look how huge and how bonded uh, it is. I'll tell you why we have selected this. Banyan tree symbolizes the unity of the country. The deep roots represents how thickened they are and then like you know how well they are united with each other the scientific name of banyan tree is a fucus bengalensis this was adopted in the year of 1950 adopted in 1950 okay and conservation status is not threatened there are actually lists which has given the threatened, non-threatened, endangered and all those lists for flora and fauna. But banyan tree does not comes under not does not comes under threatened, but it comes under not threatened. The next one is about national vegetable. National vegetable is very important. It's pumpkin or kaddu. Kaddu is also called as Indian pumpkin uh, and uh, this has been used since from many years in India before the potatoes and chilli peppers, cauliflower even arrived in India. They were not introduced. From then it is there. Kukur bitta moschata. That's the name of that scientific name. The next one, very important one, national aquatic animal. Previously they have asked about the question about this national aquatic animal. That's river dolphin, especially Gangetic river dolphin. The Ministry of Environment and Forests notified this Ganga as Ganga river dolphin as the national aquatic animal in 2010. Plantanista gangetica, in the name itself it is there, gangetica. So see that Gangetica, the name itself, it is there. The only thing that you have to remember about the scientific name is Plantinista. Okay. So they are locally known as a Susu. Don't confuse with the other word about the Susu. <laughs> this is Susu, which is the name of the river dolphin, which is found in Ganga. Why it is called as Susu? Because the noise that makes while breathing. So that's the reason why it is called Susu. Okay. This comes under critically endangered species. It's very important. This comes under critically endangered species. And so that's the reason why they selected this particular animal as the national aquatic animal. And the Wildlife Protection Act 1972, if in case any problems created to this particular animal will be punishable under the act. Thank you so much. Please do subscribe and like the video before subscribing. I would like you to 
give the command and opinion of you share the opinions suggestions and as well as the requirements what are the points that i have to make as a video and what are the points that i have to cover let me know about it in the comment section please do subscribe and like the video thank you